Uh, hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, this is the last part of modeling for the Colt 45. Yay! Um, so you guys should all be pretty happy about this. Um, basically all we're going to do now is add any extra details that we want. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's come to the front view. And let's go ahead and, uh, you know, hide unselected, or hide selection rather. And then, because we made this exactly up to, well, as far as we can, or as close as we could, to exactly up to everything else. So let's go ahead and just hide everything. Okay, and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to get all these little knobs and stuff. Although, if you texture it, it'll come in. Uh, but this is for all those people that don't want to texture. So hopefully this will be only be 10 parts instead of 11. But it might possibly be 11 after we do UDW mapping. Alright, so uh, basically, let's see, let's look through this, alright, we got this, got this, um, <laughs> I'm just looking for things that we don't have yet, we have this finished, we got that, alright, we have to do this, we have to do the text, uh, we'll do this later, I'll show you how we're going to do that later, uh, we got that to do, these stupid knobs and stuff, alright. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do all these little like knob things. Uh, these can be done just by cylinders, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a cylinder, or actually we can just do, these are actually little, very small, so we're going to do spheres. Alright, we're going to use a hemisphere, so let's go ahead and take a hemisphere and put 0.5. That will make it only half. Alright. And we're gonna just right click and we're gonna convert it to an editable poly, even though it's you know just a very small thing. Because all we have to do now is come to the uh, oops, I meant to come to the back, but whatever, bottom's fine. We just get to the uh, side here. All right, hang on. All we have to do is delete out the polygons in the back here that we don't need. So these. Actually, uh, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take down the segments to uh, uh, probably about 10 would be good. 8? Let's see. 8. Eight's fine. Alright. So convert it to editable poly again. Okay. And now we can just delete out these 8 segments back here. Alright. Get to the front. And there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're just going to move it around to different places here. Okay, move it down. Alright, uh, those two are finished. Okay, uh, they'll be also on the back, so we'll go ahead and mirror these two. Let's mirror, let's find it. Is it? Help. Uh, of course, I can't find it. There it is. Alright, copy. And do this on the. The axis. There we go. We go ahead and pull that down. Just click OK. It doesn't really matter as long as they end up like that. Uh, we'll push them this way. Just like those two. We'll push them this way. Alright, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get that right there. This is only going to be on one side though, so this is just a simple cylinder. Push it out. Go ahead and take down all the height segments. And go ahead and take down a bunch of the sides here. Bring it down to eight. All right. Uh, now for this part, uh, this part's gonna be still pretty easy. Like I said, we're not gonna do that just because I don't like it. Um, this part, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use a cylinder, and we're gonna pop it up like this. All right. Come to this side. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Alright, then we're going to convert it to an editable poly, so. Alright. And, let's go ahead and select those two. And, alright, that's... Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and select, deselect that one, and select that one. And now we're just going to extrude this out. Click OK. It's like W and just pull it straight up. Alright. And now what we're going to do is we're 
just like these. Inset. Got it extruded up. Alright, and we're gonna chamfer this in. I was just thinking, why do that? Because there's only like, you know, a few polygons in this. Um, and, you know, I just want to make it still, even though it's supposed to be low poly for a game and such. Um, in my current my game engine doesn't really matter about the uh, the connections here, so a few unconnected things isn't gonna matter. All right, so there we go. Uh, get that finished. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna finish up these two knobs. Uh, now we'll do that part, and then we'll go ahead and do a few of those writing that is to figure out what they say. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, make those now. All right, now there are a few ways we can make these these buttons. Uh, I'm just gonna copy these circles here, and uh, I'm not gonna texture them to make them like that. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna extrude them. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about uh, in a second here. These are a little bit bigger though, so. All right. Now it's gonna go ahead and come in here. I'm gonna select these polygons right here. Go ahead and set. Let's do this. Probably comes in a little bit more. Okay. And just extruded it. Alright, and now we just drag this down to the bottom. Shift drag is how I'm cloning it, by the way. Don't know if you guys know that. Then again, this is a little bit more bad, so hopefully you know that. Alright, so now we've got that finished. And now, uh, last two parts are the writing and the clip. So we'll go ahead and model the clip really quick. Uh, we'll actually just do it in the front viewport, and we're going to pull it out like this, or the top viewport design. And once that's pulled out, go ahead and convert it to an editable poly like normal. Oops. Alright, and now what we're going to do is this one. We can just do this. Select those two. Connect. Move this over. Select four. Select uh, this one face. I don't know why they both are being so. Oh, because I have Elvin selected here. Select four, select that face, go ahead and extrude. It's fine for now. Come to the front viewport. And we'll just move everything where it needs to be in a second. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this over just a tiny bit. Uh, just so that way I can position it right. Okay, so we'll just move it here. And now all I have to do is select this. And just kind of pull it up like that. All right, and let's go ahead and select this right here. We're gonna rig it around. It's just the bottom one. Rig it. Go ahead and uh, select Chad for now. And then we can do the same thing here. So let's go ahead and ring Chad. All right. That's basically all you have to do for the clip. You can see here. Oops, there's a little thing got to this side, so can't do that. Alright. So now we've got the clip finished. Um, and now all we have to do is do the writing. Let me go ahead and see what it says really quick. Okay, so I can't read what that writing says, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make up my own writing here. Um, so let me go ahead and unhide all. So da, da, there it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and select the clip. What's that? I got to actually rotate it. Uh, let's check on this side. Okay. Uh, 
I uh, just need to make it a little bit thicker, I think. Alright, pull it over a tiny bit. Alright, that looks good. Alright, now let's go ahead and make the text. Well, actually, that'll be it for this tutorial. Next tutorial will be UVW map and text. Alright, see you later.